Hello, hello. Welcome to this segment of Sister to Sister. We are so thrilled to be sitting here and be in your living room with our hearts for Jesus Christ. And we answer the questions of the world from a godly perspective. Where do you hear us? Okay, here we go. This question is really, really good, really good. Would you call the police on your kids if you found they had a drinking party while you were away? Ha ha. Well, I just thought I would wear my army fatigues for this <laughs> because I will be all in the business of what's going on at my house. I'm not even kidding. I have people upon people that will stop in and look and check in and I will be very vigilant about what's going on in my house, especially with drinking and parties. And I would have no problem at all calling the police and saying, hey, there's something going on at my house and I need you to go right now and check on it and solve it. Plus we have some friends in the police department, so that would be great. <laughs> a, little, a little holy scare. I like that holy scare. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea, Amy. My children are older and at the time, I probably would not have done it um, called the police because I would have been afraid that my children would, number one, get in trouble, duh, yes they would. Number two, look bad in the eyes of other people, duh, they would. So now that I am a grown up, was I a grown up? <laughs> it's true. So precious. I realized that I made some mistakes raising oh, yeah. teenagers. So I look at you, Amy, raising teenagers, and I say, yeah. good girl, mm -hmm. good girl, mm -hmm. call them, yeah. call the police. Yeah. Would you, mm -hmm. Corey? Well, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you and say no, because I'm just being honest and real right now, because I just feel like the, financial and legal ramifications of that would be extremely far reaching, both to them and to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I, here's the other reason, because we all know that I am not easy on my kids when it comes to discipline. And so I feel like they would be more afraid of me than the police. <laughs> so they would face very deep and hard consequences from their parents. So they would not be, they would not have it easy, but they also would not be in jail or in the legal system <laughs> through the police and have a record and ha face not being able to get scholarships and not being able to get into the military. And I just would not want to ruin their futures because of poor decision making. And I would want to help redirect that decision. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I, I, I'm, I'm hoping Roxy is gonna jump yeah, in and Roxy. give us some of the legal part of it. Cause we, you know, uh, discussion, um, you know, when we discuss things like this, I, my mind flashes back on things. And I remember, you know, us discussing about, well, you know, I wouldn't do it. And this is the reason why I wouldn't do it, because I was concerned, mm -hmm. uh, such as you were honest yeah. and transparent enough to say. And, um, you know, and, and I know mine hasn't changed. My standpoint um, was that, you know, if my child is doing something like having alcohol and I'm out of, first of all, I wouldn't leave mine. Right. I wouldn't leave mine and go on vacation and leave them by themselves. But let's yeah, just say for the sake of a point that I did, mm -hmm. you know, um, my concern is now they are jeopardizing your children. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I want them to understand the serious consequences mm -hmm. behind that because there are some things that mommy and daddy cannot protect you from. And I love what you said because it's so true, Corey. There are some situations such, hello, when I was growing up, honey, there wasn't a police officer that could strike <laughs> any more fear in me than my parents, okay? <laughs> However, that's not always the case today, but I, I do yeah, want Roxanne. Roxy to speak to the oh. legal piece of it. My, my only concern about the legal ramifications are the hurt or harm that could come to the other children. 
could they get into a car accident on the way home, yeah. Yeah. driving yeah. drunk or something that yes. you would then be responsible for. And I have to put a plug in for what they call SROs or school resource officers. And I really hope someday there is funding or whatever for every school in this country because the school resource officer being on the school board, they hear the kids in the halls all day. They know what's going to go on at home. They know what's going to go on after school. They hear a lot. And our school resource officers have stopped a lot of parties mm, from actually that's happening that's good. and preventing them when parents Yay. were clueless as to what was going on. So when we talked about in other segments about partnering with the school, or with, mm -hmm. and law enforcement isn't there to hurt people. They're there to apply and enforce the law. You can sometimes talk to your local police officers and say, look, let me know. I will partner with you. Uh, you know, let me know what's going on if you know. We are going to mm -hmm. try to work this out before this child is harmed to do some prevention. Would they have right, a record right. that you call? Like they was yes. a 13 year old, they a, rec a record yeah. stays with you all your life. Right, okay. right. Okay, so <laughs> this was a great question and I have to add one little PS and that is that my children are saved, delivered and serving the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen.